ऐसे और वीडियोस के लिए मेरे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें थ्री टू वन स्टार्ट सर एग्रीकल्चर इज नेग्लेक्टेड एज अगेंस्ट द इंडस्ट्रियल सेक्टर इफ वी से अबाउट इन्वेस्टमेंट अबाउट एनकरेजमेंट गिवन टू द इंडस्ट्री एंड द एग्रीकल्चर एंड अ कंपेरिजन बिटवीन दैम विल शो दैट एग्रीकल्चर इज बींग डिस्क्रिमिनेटेड एज अगेंस्ट इंडस्ट्री अमंगस्ट एग्रीकल्चर इट सेल्फ इन द इरीगेटेड एरिया एंड नॉन इरीगेटेड एरिया देर इज अ वास्ट डिफरेंस ऑल बेनिफिट्स लाइक फर्टिलाइजर्स सब्सिडी एंड कोऑपरेटिव क्रेडिट All these benefits which are supposed to be given to the agriculturists are supplied to the irrigated sector and the agriculturists there alone get those benefits in non irrigated area where the agriculture is rain fed and where it is all dry land farming they are not properly treated they are not being properly looked after the government is totally negligent so far as that sector is concerned so far as the drought prone areas are concerned in our country there are areas where there is drought repeatedly in some states they had drought once twice or even continuously for some years and now in maharashtra karnataka and in some other parts of the country there has been drought repeatedly no once or twice but continuously every year but the government has not done anything what it should have done there the government of maharashtra had has asked for 150 crores so far as the drinking water is concerned assistance to the agriculturist is very meager and they are suffering because their crops have been lost and the government has hardly given rupees 25 crores or rupees 30 crores and because of this insufficient assistance the work which has been done to meet the scarcity condition in maharashtra is not being done properly i would urge upon the government that this should be looked into and permanent measures to remove these conditions in those drought prone areas should be taken how those problems can be solved how a particular investment has to be made all these have to be looked into certain allocation has to be made because in those drought prone areas the allocation has to be made because in those drought prone areas the allocations are very scarce this is not fair an employment problem has been discussed at length here so i will not say much about it but the honorable prime minister has said in his budget speech that computerization is going to help reduce unemployment i myself do not understand this argument i have discussed this matter with many of our friends